Hey everybody, it's your boy LaBea Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like, and subscribe to the channel. You guys know your support means everything to me. These reviews don't get done without you, but I want to thank you for interacting with me so far. Uh, this year has been amazing. I've been on YouTube for a little over a year now. It was a year in May, and I want to thank you guys for your time, your attention, your appreciation. I appreciate you guys too. Um, I've done a couple of IG lives in the process. I got, uh, I did a couple of those back uh, a few weeks ago. That was an amazing, amazing experience. Uh, I want to keep the ball rolling. I want you guys to interact with me. Uh, so feel free to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to the channel here. And I, I just want to interact with you guys. I know that I'm a fragrance lover. I know that you guys are fragrance lovers as well. And so I want to interact with the community as much as possible. Today's review is going to be on a fragrance that I stumbled upon a couple of years ago while visiting New York. Um, I had never heard of this brand before or this house or this perfumer. You guys know that I like to bring uh, independent perfumers and uh, people that have smaller offerings uh, to the forefront because, you know, Tom Ford doesn't need these videos from me. Chanel doesn't need these videos from me, but I want to shine a light on perfumers and indie niche houses that are doing great things. And today is no different. If you haven't heard, you're about to hear about the house and the perfumer Maya and Jai and the fragrance Tabak. Now, Tabak came out in 2016. The nose behind the fragrance is, of course, Maya and Jai. Um, the notes behind the fragrance are tobacco leaf, vetiver, cinnamon, tonka, musk, and leather. This is a 50 ml bottle. This is going to run you 90 pounds. If you are uh, international for us in the U.S., it's 124 U.S. Now, this is my scent of the day. I will give you a fresh spray on this sample card here. Atomizer works very, very well. Before I go into the smell, I want to give you a little bit of a description from the company. It says, and I'm going to read from a prepared set of notes here. There was no way I was going to uh, memorize this description. Um, dark, pointed, yet comforting scent composed of sweet, smoky notes of tobacco leaf, vetiver, and warm hints of cinnamon. Base made up of animalic musks and leather. Addictive becomes the word. And I guarantee you that is exactly true to form. This fragrance is addicting. Um, off the jump, you're going to get the tobacco leaf, the vetiver, and the cinnamon all meeting you on the first spray. Um, there is no delineation between any of those notes. I can each, I can point each of them out specifically. I can definitely smell the tobacco leaf. I can smell the vetiver. I can smell the cinnamon each individually, but they marry so well together um, as one as well that that is a beautiful thing um I, I got this in new york and there's a story that comes with this and i'll tell you about later but this smells like one of those older gentlemanly clubs in the 1980s now no, i'm not talking about dancers on poles or anything like that but one of the gentlemen clubs you know the uh the high society clubs the the ones with the older gentlemen in nice suits uh, fedoras, smoking cigars, having drinks, just regaling themselves over, you know, business dealings and backroom deals and things like that. This is exactly what that reminds me of. Um, yeah, these gentlemen are, you know, dressed to impress, dressed to the nines. They're regaling themselves about the good old days, maybe in the old country or, or something like that. Um, there's something very genuine and heartfelt about this fragrance. You can definitely feel that Maya put her heart and soul into this fragrance, and I absolutely appreciate that 100%. Um, it's a bit animalic in the dry down. I've had this fragrance for a, a number of months now, uh, actually a couple of years now. Um, there's something anim animalic in the dry down, but it never reaches, you know, uh, unwearable territory. It never grows fecal, never has any, you know, pungent smell to it. It's just the right amount of right amount of animalic uh, nature to the fragrance. Um, so yes, this is definitely wearable. This would remind me of sitting in my grandfather's old leather chair, um, uh, looking through photo albums, looking through photo albums or sitting in a nice uh, climate controlled 
library in some Victorian mansion um, with books all around and things like that and, and cigar smoke or pipe tobacco uh, in, in the background. This reminds me exactly of that. That's the visualization I get here. Um, so I encountered this fragrance and this perfumer when I was in New York a couple of years ago on business. Um, I went to Muse Modern Urban Sensory Experiences in Harlem. If you have not gone to Muse and you're in the New York area, you gotta go. You gotta go. It's an amazing, an amazing place. And Kim Waters is the owner there and she is an amazing person. Shout out to Kim because she put me on to Maya and Jai and to back. And for that, I am forever grateful because this is an outstanding, outstanding fragrance. Um, at Muse, you're going to find uh, offerings that you may know about, offerings that you may not know about from uh, perfumers. And I, I highly, highly encourage you, if you're in the New York, New Jersey, D.C., Delaware, Philly area, and you can get up to New York, go. Just go to Muse. Have a wonderful time. Give them your business. Um, I, I cannot say enough good things about Muse and the experience I had there. I definitely look forward to going back when things settle down a bit more. Um, and I'm in town again, but yeah, go to Muse, tell Kim I said hi when you're there, um, and yeah, discover Tabac and the rest of Maya's uh, fragrances as well. I haven't gotten my nose on them in a couple of years, but if they're anything like Tabac, you are going to be pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. Um, Tabac lends itself to be more of a fall-winter fragrance. However, I do feel a little bit of freshness um, in the fragrance as well. I have worn this in the summertime. It doesn't ever get to be too much. However, I do modify my sprays. I do one on the chest or one on the neck here and one on the back of the neck uh, in the summertime and I'm good to go. Um, there is a little bit of, you know, humidity in this area. And so I, I don't want to go much more than that. But if you go one on the front, one on the back and you're in a, a climate controlled environment or you're out and it's humid out, you, you should be just fine. Um, it performs seven hours at least on my skin. I have gotten eight and a half. It was a skin scent uh, at that point, but the performance certainly does warrant the $120 price tag. Uh, it's not that expensive. You guys, you, we've all paid much, much more for fragrances. So $120 for this type of uh, quality juice in this bottle is amazing. The presentation is quite simple. You just have this uh, thick glass here with the sticker on the front um, and the plastic cap fits nicely into place. You can pick it up from there. It's not too heavy. Perfect for um, travel purposes. I have traveled with this before, but uh, you know, the, the presentation is simple. The, the fragrance at its root is simple and I love simplicity because being a person with a disability, I don't like to overcomplicate things a lot. Uh, so this simple but effective fragrance is absolutely the way to go here. I absolutely do enjoy wearing this on a regular basis. Guys, if you have not experienced Maya and Jai, please do. Please do. I'm going to leave a link to the website down below in the description. At least do the research. Figure it out. Um, there are a couple of other fragrances. I believe Nordic Cedar is the name of one if I'm... Uh, wrong on that, please correct me in the comments. But I am so, so happy that tobacco is in my collection. I will always have it in my collection. I am a tobacco lover. Um, and this is just an outstanding fragrance. Guys, thank you for your attention. That's my time. I appreciate you guys. You know I do. Go down below, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.